killer have actually sounded. There's no reason for the killer to have sounded. Frank Mastar the Mask. Himself? But he's not Mastar the Mask at that point. Right? Well, well yeah, but what we're, what we're trying to prove here is what actually what actually happened, at Wait. least from Ron's perspective. What, what's up? How would he know he was wearing the outfit? Was there a picture? No, it... He's assuming he was because he didn't leave any fingerprints. How does he know? Wasn't it in the, the file? Was it? There was a thing about him looking at all the file, or the, the police investigation went through him and he saw it all. Like right at the back end of his whole thing. I have no idea. <sighs> Alright, so... The second one... The job up The job that he left, though... That he left to go do. We can't just ask him what that was. No, no we, we get one press. Yeah, take it as true or false. I. S I swear that whole like him reading the files is bullshit. Like he wouldn't know. Wasn't he fucking somewhere else? Wasn't he on trial or in jail? Which no, one? not at this point. Well, when did Ron say he was fucking wearing the outfit? I don't oh. remember. Rust just fucking did it. Huh? What's going on? Was that it? Is it right? Rust, did you skip ahead, dude? What? What happened? Huh? What did you, what did you do? What? What did you do? Push the right answer. God damn it! <laughs> you fuck. Did you look at a guide? Fucking back. He totally did. God damn it! Can't be mad at me. I didn't say anything. <sighs> and now we can't deduce it together, man. Why not? Because you already know it! Damn it! Well, do you know which one he pressed? No, but now he can't be part of the conversation because he's be cheating then. And you would also, because you saw it. Well, no, I just saw him press something. But I, I have a feeling that I'm right. Yeah, the walkthrough gave me a good feeling too. Snake, what do you oh, think? Shit. Hmm. The only thing that Okay, so we're trying to find a contradiction here. Right. If Do we have a timeline? Let's talk about how we could have gotten the information. Okay. Chan might be onto something. He said at the back end of his previous testimony thing that he had eyes in the police investigation that it all went through him. Right? That uh -huh. happened. Right. Would he have been privy to the information about 
the murder. I don't think so. Because that the murder happened, like the murder went down right after the trial where he was deemed as being master of the master. He wouldn't have any of them known. Like, as soon as we finished the thing and it was like, oh, you're master of the mask. Uh, right afterwards, Gumshoe was like, oh man, Ron Delight's a murderer. You know? So by that point, there's no way Look At Me would have like any way to have like files like that. So, but all the police files go through him. Well, he wouldn't be able to have the police files because he was, like, literally at that point, uh, a, a bad boy. So what do you think? Mr. Delight was wearing Master of the Mask outfit, which is why he left no prints. I think I'm gonna press it, man. Hang on. All right, what you got? I do think that. See, why would the killer sound it? Huh? Why would the killer sound it? I'm the only reason a killer would sound it would be to be like, hey man, I'm gonna totally give myself up pretty much. There's no reason for him to sound it. The problem is it's still a true statement. And apparently we're trying to just say whatever is actually false. You know? What are we doing here? I'm trying to figure out the actual statement. Without referring to a cheating guide. Probably wouldn't have had to if we just finished the case last week. Yeah, but it's already been an hour that we would have been at this for like a long time then last week. I'm gonna go with your intuition, man. What you think? So which one are you looking at? Me personally, it's either Mr. Delight was wearing a mask, start a mask outfit, which is why he left no prints, or one that ends with a why statement the button did not have any fingerprints on it why oh I'm sorry I'm, I'm sorry the uh, the victim should have left fingerprints on it which means the killer sounded it why would the killer sound it there's no reason for the killer to sound it
have saved, right? Yes. I would go for the the buzzer one. Why would the victim sound it? Rather, the killer sound it. All right, I'll give it a shot. The victim should have left fingerprints on it, or the the victim should have left prints if he sounded it, which means the killer sounded it. Hold it. Mr. Abney, about this last remark. Objection. I think we got it wrong. Snake, I think we fucked up. Shit balls. Russ, you're not at this point, are you? No. <sighs> Wait, what, what did you press? What one, did you press? The one where the killer pressed the buzzer. Oh. No. You still don't get it, do you, Mr. Trite? I'm just gonna fucking load stage. You're pressing the witness on every third statement. When did it all go so wrong? Mr. Leia was wearing his mask started mask outfit, which is why I left him prints. Mr. Ami, about this last Objection. remark. Is that also Objection. wrong? Objection. Are you fucking serious? Objection. You still don't get it, do you, Mr. Trite? All right, this fine. is the time to be pressed with us every little statement. I don't fucking know that, man. All right. No, you pressed the right one. I don't know I, what you're doing. That's the right one? Hmm? Did you just instantly fucking save state after that no. first part? No, no, no. Then I, keep going. I thought that was wrong, because that's the one? same statement. Which one? The the one that uh the one that says mask start a mask in the statement. So wait, the this is right? Prince. Yeah. He was wearing the outfit. So this is right? I'm afraid you're the one who still doesn't get it, Mr. Godot. What? Mr. Atme, it seems you have finally admitted that you were in the CEO's office on the night of the murder. What? Okay, fuck it. Whatever. How did you know that? I don't fucking know, dude. Let's Bro, review your testimony, what? shall we, Mr. Atme? The button did not have any fingerprints on it. Why? Mr. T. Ghetto was wearing his master to mask outfit. Is that correct? Hey, that's what I said. My deductions are foolproof. Aww. More like your deductions prove that you're a fool. I'm sorry, whatever you mean. For some reason, I'm sorry, I get real thirsty. When exactly do we learn the fact that Ron Delight was dressed as Master or the Mask when he went to the scene of the crime? That was, um... It was uh, a few hours ago. Back when my six cup of coffee was looking at me with a cold stare. Huh? Oh, uh, did I get to mention it before or before? I'm sorry. I just never had a chance to mention it up till now now. That's right. The defendant had yet to tell anyone else this fact before this morning. Therefore, the only people who should have known were those who have been watching this trial. <sighs> Do you understand now, Detective Abney? There's no way that you should have known about that! Uh, ah! You were in the next courtroom being tried as Mass Star to Mass! So then, enlighten us! Just how did you know about that piece of information? Objection. Mm. Come on. This is the thing I was known about. He probably had plenty of chances to file for it. Objection to that, please. And it's those chances that I want to discuss next. That night, Mr. DLA was wearing his mask star to mask outfit. There's one 
And only one way for Detective Amy to have found that out. One way, you say? Please remember, if you will, Miss Delight's testimony. When I entered the office, there was a suspicious shadow there, there. For a second, Michael, I witnessed the real killer. Objection. Objection. This is just like a result. There's no way to tell whether or not the real killer is looking at me. Objection to that, please. No. It's with that statement that I'll turn this case on its head. So what are you implying in 2016? I'm implying in 2016, Mr. Delight saw the real killer, correct? Now... If you turn that statement around, it stands to follow that the real killer had also seen Ron Delight. Impossibly! Who's that Pokey? Oh, oh my god, it's Pikachu! I had no idea. I had no idea. Detective Amy! You saw Mask star to mask at the murder scene that night! You saw him when you killed Kane Bullard and assaulted Ron Delight. That was the only way you could have known what Ron was wearing. It's a rocket ship. Blast it off. Oh, he's going Super Saiyan. Oh shit, come here, man. Gonna fight us all. Ha. Ha. Take a good look, everyone. Unable to find a rival worthy of my genius, I was forced to create one by myself. Here I am, the tragic clown, Russ Money! <laughs> That's the same line you gave yesterday. Uh -uh. But I think there's a little more meaning behind it this time. <laughs> that was weak. What an awfully complicated incident. Kane Bullard was blackmailing Luke Abney, who in turn was blackmailing Ron Delight. And upon killing his blackmailer, Luke Abney tried to frame Ron Delight. He then claimed to be guilty as masked star to mask in order to escape his true crime, Streets of LA. Ah, of course, one of my favorite video games of all time. And to that end, he came up with his plan to use double jeopardy rule when making his alibi. Who this is? This is... I don't know. It's Ron? Um... At any rate, it would seem we finally found the truth. Excuse me! I came perilously close to besmirching the record as... of an innocent young man. Besmirching him with the title of murder. Ron, that's you. Don't ignore me! Oh, I didn't realize you were there. Why wouldn't he be? Um, about the verdict. I know. He never committed any murder. That's right. I'm so glad you understand that, but... I... I'm... I really am best on the best! So, thanks to that try yesterday, I'm innocent now, right? Uh... What was it you said? Double Jeopardy? Now that you mention it... Uh, I'm just careless. Careless? Um, what do you think, Mia? As the defendant says, the rules of Double Jeopardy is absolute. A defendant can never be tried twice for a crime in which he was once found innocent. Then, Mask Star to Mask is really innocent? For now, it would seem so. F for now. Now then, this court finds the defendant not guilty. Yay! <laughs> Robbery and murder. The little fuck gets away with it. Boy, this is really lucky. Wait, er, I... 
That isn't so good after all. You see, the thing is, I still have Master MS after all. October 14th, 3.35 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby, number four. Holy shit, you're cleavage, Mia! You did it, Nick. Thanks, Mia! It's been a long time, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because Maya doesn't call me much these days. Oh? I'm just joking, Phoenix. Don't take everything so seriously, you fucking idiot. But on the other hand, Maya, she seems kind of lost these days. You mean about becoming the master of the crayon channeling school? Becoming the master and saying goodbye to our mom. You mean Misty Faye? Watch out, will you, Phoenix? Of course. Well then, see you around. Mia. Uh, uh, Mr. Wright! Um, I, uh, I don't know what to say. Congratulations, Mr. Delight! Th th thank you so, so much! Th uh, er, no, wait. Nothing really matters anymore, though, now that all this has happened. Come on, be happy already, Maya. Declare the merch or you get to go as Mr. Master and Master Boo! Hmm? But in exchange, I'd lost everything. Huh? What do you mean? Stealing security information from KB Security, becoming my sort of mask. I did it all for one reason. For her. Boss. Pussy whip. You mean boss, Desiree? She hates criminals more than anything. Come to think of it, she was once held hostage by some robbers, wasn't she? She always said how she hated seeking criminals. I knew that. I knew that, but. Once I got fired from KB Security, I lost all the money I had. She wouldn't have had any reason to stay with me. I thought she would leave me for sure. So, that's why you became Mask Starter Mask. Yeah, but it's all over now. A broken bowl can never be put back together! That's not true, right Nick? Right. Really? Can we go back to the way things were and have cereal out of my bowl? Don't be fine! And Nick can prove it! I want soup. I can. I kinda wish you would check with me first. Mr. Delight, even if a bowl is broken, there's always a way to put it back together. Oh, Just oh! Just like this so, vase. Yeah! The sacred urn? Yeah! yeah. That's gotta be it, right? Bam! Take it! The sacred urn. Desi was the one who found this. Desiree, your waifu. She always believed in you, Ron. That's why you'll be fine. You don't have anything to worry about now, anything at all. Nope, nope, nothing. Boss. Oh, shit. Oh, there you are. M Misty Light! You did it, Ronnie! You're innocent! I'm so happy. Thank you, I appreciate that, but um... I suppose you don't want anything to do with me, do you? Ronnie! Why didn't you talk to me about what was going on? I had no idea you'd quit KB Security. I never imagined that you were really masked hard to mast either. Like, what are you gonna do now that you know? You're not gonna really leave him, are you? Come on, it's obvious, isn't it? How could I ever let a wonderful man like him get away? After all, my bike's really fast. <laughs> There's no way he could ever get away. Um, but didn't you say you hated criminals? Hmm? Oh, I only hate people who all act all cowardly and scared. Like that detective. I see. My Ronnie went and declared his crimes before he committed them, like a man. I just love a man who's so chivalrous. Chivalrous? Chivalrous. I knew I was right about you. Every day I spend with you is filled with thrills and excitement. <laughs> Desi. Desiree, you really do love Ron, don't you? 
Nikki boy. Y yes. I'm really glad I asked you to defend my Ronnie. Thank you so much. I'll never forget what you've done for us. Uh, well, uh, yeah, take care of yourself. You too, Nikki boy. I can feel my face going red. Mr. Nick, Miss Thick Maya, congratulations. <laughs> We're married! Hmm? Talk about that timing. Mr. Nick, how I'm could you shoot another man's <laughs> wife in front of Mrs. No! Maya? I'm sorry! I'll never forgive you, <laughs> never. And, and that was the end of Mr. Nick. <laughs> and so, just as the case came to a close, so too did my consciousness. Ron said, a broken bull can never be put back together. But I know that's not true. I mean, just look. Here's a perfect example. What, one that was put back together even better than before. That's yeah, the outhouse is, re is fixed. We can shit it. again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we did it. We did it. Oh my god, the next one's cooking oh, really. No. What, 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 yeah. what, why, oh no. Got a real flamboyant chef in this one. <laughs> oh no! Well, oh, go. is it the, is it the huge dude? Yeah. Oh my god, no. Uh, I don't know what, what, what's going on, but apparently something cool is happening. Nate gets to voice that guy for sure. Alright! I don't know. Uh, sounds like a good time to me! Shit. Alright. Go. Oh. Save this for another time. That was an hour and 20 minutes. So, even if we did finish it in the last session, that would have been another hour and 20 minutes overboard, even though we were already an hour overboard at that point to begin with. So it's a good thing we did cut it off when we did. Even though we it took us a bit to get our foothold back in there. And in the end, we kind of still didn't even have it. But that's okay. Because we solved the case. Look at me was a fuck. Ron D. Light. Was a thieving I'm fuck. so surprised. Look at me, was a bad guy. I, I had no idea. At, like a great guy. But he was a bad guy the whole time. There's the surprise right there. Gotcha. Gosh, yeah, got, gotcha, man. So, team, we're going to take a quick break. Come back with some Chill Shock Live. Haven't played that in a minute. Oh, and randomly right at the very end here. 2,000 bits from one time. Night crew. Ah, right, man. You have a good night, buddy. Thank you very much for the 2,000 bits. Also, Blue Waffle, JMM, PG, LJ Steel, Multiples of Nico, Anarchy Kittens, Cytro, Zack Snowfox. Oh, man, I got you earlier, man. My, my bad, dog. And Iria Reed. Thank you guys very much. And Moonlight. And In Your Face, C-O-B-H-C. And Moonlight again. And the electric ride shoe, and cryotoic robot, and Smokey's lemming, or Smokey's lemming, and Gray Dan paints, and Tim the Tool Man Allen. Thank you very much, guys. So, we'll be back momentarily. Have uh, have some jams, and uh, doses. That, that means that means be right back.